Hey guys, good evening one and all and welcome to the video. This video I would like to discuss a feature that AWS has released in reInvent 2021 which is called Event Filtering on AWS Lambda. So allow me to walk you over that, uh, a little bit of, on that, okay? I have a small presentation for you. I would try to attach the presentation uh, in the uh, in the links uh, given below. So let's go over that. Hi guys, so for people who do not know me, my name is Somil Shah. I work as a data collection and processing specialist. Um, so let's go over the slides. Uh, this slide right here will explain you uh, how traditional uh, uh, Lambda and SQS works. So the user essentially, uh, that is the producer, will produce messages and it would put these messages into the SQS queue. Now, uh, Lambda, so the one that you see over here, my mouse here, this is essentially an internal polling Lambda that AWS uses to poll the queue and check if there are any incoming messages. As soon as the messages are there, this Lambda would redirect that message, message to the consumer Lambda, essentially to consume the messages. Now you'll say, yeah, what's the problem here? Well, the problem here is, let me explain you the use case and we go slowly, slowly, okay? Um, there is an application, consider a logistic company with a fleet of vehicles in the field, each vehicle uh, enabled with sensors such uh, and 4G and 5G connectivity to emit telemetry data with Kinesis data stream. Essentially, in layman language, uh, let's say there are uh, vehicles, uh, IoT devices in these vehicles, and they are emitting some 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 event, right? After there are ten thousand vehicles, so in one scenario, they they want to use machine learning models to infer the health of the vehicle based on each payload telemetry data, which means every uh, vehicle is emitting the data, right? So they want to do a machine learning and predict the health of the vehicles, and the second is uh, they want to invoke a function, but only when the pressure is low on the vehicle. I'll explain you what that means. The next slide right here. This is the payload that every essentially the vehicles are emitting. Now what they're trying to say in, in traditional system before this feature the AWS released, well, as soon as every vehicle would emit this message, it has to go, the application lambda would be invoked every time, right? But I only want to invoke my application lambda if the pressure temperature is, tire pressure is less, less than a certain threshold, right? Or I only want to process a certain fleet of cars. Well, traditionally that was not possible, but with this uh, with this feature, it's now possible. So now you can add something like uh, fleet ID is equal to fleet 452. This means that, hey, only invoke my application Lambda if the fleet ID is 452 and the tire pressure is you know less than 32. So now I can only invoke my application Lambda based on condition. Well, this saves a lot of cost because now you're not invoking the application Lambda every time. Reducing cost with event filtering, uh, by, config by configuring event source with this filter criteria, you can reduce the number of messages that are used to invoke this Lambda function. Using the example on the Lambda uh, in the pricing page, let's, let's take an example. Let's say there are 10,000 fleets, okay, 10,000 vehicle emitting um, telemetry data uh, every hour. So in 24 hours, you know, and so each month the vehicle will emit 10,000 times 24 times 31. So around 74 million messages, right? Which, so as you can see, the Lambda has been triggering 74 million times or whatever that number is, right? It's triggering a lot of times now. But with this event filtering, you are reducing the invocation, right? Now it's only invoked on a condition. So over here, what it's, uh, uh, let's not worry about this uh, image. So what I'm trying to show you is the, after this is given on their blog, right? So uh, they have reduced the cost from $4.59 to 0.15 cent, which is 96% reduction in cost. That's a big, big thing. Because now your application lambda are only invoked based on a particular condition, right? Uh, these are the syntax that it supports. You can go to the blog and definitely read more about it. Uh, for example, you, you can use, uh, there is null, empty, equal, and, or, not, numeric. So all this is there. You can go read more if you would want. Um, the steps are very, very easy, man. So if you go to that Lambda, let's say you have an SQS and a Lambda. So you can click on add trigger. And after that, uh, you will see something called filtering criteria. And you could add your filter syntax right here. With that being said, uh, you know, with this, you would reduce your invocation to the Lambda by saving costs essentially. Of course, you can have DLQ queues and other, other things that as well, but this is a really nice feature that AWS uh, has released this uh, um, in reInvent 2021. These are the references I have, I have uh, seen videos from Be a Better Dev, Cloud with Raj, and a couple of uh, blogs. I would leave my presentation in the description, so in case if you wanna check that out, 
please go go ahead and download the presentation and if you have any more question feel free to message me or comment on the video with that being said thank you so much for watching hope you have enjoyed the small walkthrough on filtering event sources for aws lambda function if you have any more questions list your question in the comments and i'll be more than happy to help you once again keep smiling keep programming keep learning we would see you guys in the upcoming next video